Well, I can hardly see Lily here. Let's back it up. Well, just give me a second. It's not going to take long. Okay. This is Lily now. Hi, Lily. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. So, Lily had a dream about a week ago, a little over a week ago, about an earthquake, and she didn't know what to call it um, when she first had the dream because she had never experienced an earthquake before, and she was just describing it as the ground shaking, and then we taught her the word earthquake. Um, but basically, she said that we were walking, and she, uh, we were walking to a new house that we were having built, she said, and she started waving her arms around and said that things were shaking and rumbling and that the earth was breaking apart. Mm -hmm. And um, she said that some men had come to carry our TVs and dressers because they were too heavy for us to bring to the house ourselves. And sorry, I have this all written down. Um, so she said that while we were walking to the new house, uh, we were almost there and the earthquake started. And she said that it broke apart the new house and that I grabbed her into the stroller and ran really fast because something was about to fall on her. And she was describing how the builders had built this playground for us and she said the house wasn't done and she even described how the walls had brown paper that had words on it, which I took to be insulation. So it was vivid for her. Um, and I was really compelled by this because uh, the day before I had started getting a feeling that God had something to reveal. Normally I get this quickening in my spirit before he's about to pour something out. And this was confirmed by the very next day that she had this dream. She told us, she told my husband first, first thing in the morning. Um, so I got my Bible out and let God lead me to Revelation, Lily. Um, and I was led to um, Revelation 6, the sixth seal, which uh, that verse says, um, hold on one second. Then I saw the Lamb open the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black, like sackcloth of goat hair, and the whole moon turned to blood. The stars of the sky fell to the earth like unripe figs dropping from a tree shaken by a great wind. So, oh, and the sky receded like a scroll being rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved from its place. This was really interesting to me when I read it, because not only does this verse talk about the earthquake, but in the same verse... It's talking about the um, an eclipse, I think. And we're having this eclipse that's coming up on the 21st. Um, so I just found it to be very interesting timing. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, let Lily talk a little bit about this. Oh, and also, she said, I asked her how old everybody was when she had this dream, when she saw the kids and everybody. And she said that all of the kids were still the current age that they are now. Um, she said that she was still four, and um, my son, my first son was still three, my other son was still one, and the baby was still zero. Um, and after elaborating for a while, she also said, God was there at the house. He was picking up our stuff that broke. He picked us up and took us to a different place. And I asked how she knew it was God, and she said, because it was just God. And I asked what he looked like, and she said, he just looked like God. Kind of like irritated at me because, for not understanding um, and she also mentioned something that she thought that the earthquake came from the sky somehow. Um, so Lily, is there anything that you wanted to say or tell about your dream? Do you want to s tell anything about your dream? Well, how, well, Jesus, they kind of picked us up. They were like, build it, a playground, and then they started to build the house. Uh-huh, and what happened? And then the house was done. And then me and mom checked it out and it looked good. And it had the TV attached to the ceiling. But it has chairs laid up. Mm -hmm. So you can like lay down and watch the TV oh, wow. up. And my bed was upstairs. It had stairs on it. Uh -huh. And what happened to the house during the earthquake? Well, the earthquake like crashed that the and landed right out at Ash's house. 
and like they had a hole and then the house started to break like any piece of it didn't hit the TV or mommy's. So what happened to the earth? You said it broke? No, the earth didn't broke, it was fine. Oh, the earth was fine? Mm -hmm. The house just broke. Okay. And something was going to fall, but it didn't fall on mommy because I ran. And Jesus took us where? Where did he take us to? Builders. And he like asked the builders to build us a new house. Oh, he prepared a new place for us. Mm -hmm. So he took and us. It, he took us away from this, where this earthquake happened. Jesus took us. Yeah. How did he take us? He took us to a different earth. A different earth. Wow. How did he get us there? Well, we came from his place to a other earth. Wow. Did we? How did? Is was there a way that we got there? How did he take us there? He go like to the windy earth. The windy planet, and then to the planet where its ground has a ring across it, and then that's how we got to a different Earth. Wow, that's amazing. One is, which has rainbow colors. One that has rainbow colors. <laughs> this is the first time I'm hearing this, so uh, this is really cool and interesting, guys. You gotta let me know what you think about this, Lily. Lily sees and hears things that mommy doesn't get to see. <laughs> the other day she was telling me that the angels tickle her awake. And I asked her what angels look like and she says something about, what, you don't see them? And I was like, no, no, mommy doesn't see angels. <laughs> so, wow, wow guys, you, you'll have to definitely let me know what you think about this. Jesus takes us to a new earth after a great earthquake. Wow. One that has rainbow colors. That's pretty amazing. All right, y'all. Love you and God bless.